Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to do an update video of a um, video we shot five years ago about brush maintenance. So we're gonna talk all about how to take care of your shaving brush in today's video. Let's get started. So a common question we get is, how do I take care of my shaving brush? I've been using it for a while now, and the performance just isn't there. It's starting to maybe smell funky, or maybe it's just not making the lather it used to make. Well, just like the hair on your head, the hair on your brush needs to be taken care of. And to do that, there's a couple different ways. You could go down the path of using caustic chemicals like borax and you know whatever else to clean out the hair on your brush. I prefer to use chemicals that I already put on my body somewhere, and that would be soap. Um, so we picked up some clarifying shampoo. Now we are not sponsored by Suave. I just got this at the drugstore down the street. But if you just take some clarifying shampoo, get your brush wet, and just start making a lather, almost like you're shaving, you'll be surprised. In just a matter of minutes, your brush is going to have all of that soap scum cleaned out. Just like your regular hair, you know, you can use daily shampoo um, most of the time, but every once in a while you need to use a clarifying shampoo to really get all the buildup out, and that's what we're doing here. Uh, your shaving soap is a normal soap. It's not like a detergent or any kind of clarifying uh, agent into it, in it where it's going to build up and it's going to actually coat onto the hair follicles themselves, the hair shafts, and the only way to get that out is by cleaning it out with some clarifying shampoo. Now there's another product on the market that does a very similar thing. It's another kind of soap product. This is from Phoenix Artisan Coutremont's. Some of our friends down in uh, Casa Grande, Arizona, just a, about an hour south of Phoenix. And they sell this awesome product. We, we sell a lot of these guys, the Brush Care Kit. Uh, very, very, um, very, very good product. I really like it. So it's a molded soap that has all these ridges on it. And these ridges do the work that my fingers just did. So again, you're gonna get both the soap and your brush wet, and you're gonna kind of run it through in rows like this or in circles. Whatever you do, these will act almost like fingers, and they're gonna really kind of get down inside there and really kind of clean the brush out. You can even do a little bit on the side maybe. But you see how, how much of a lather I'm building up here just by doing that. And um, I bet you can get, I don't know, several dozen, maybe even a maybe even hundred cleaned out of this soap here. It's very large and um, I bet it would last a long time. And it's amazing the feel. You know, before this shaving brush, we've had this shaving brush here in the, in the studio for, gosh, probably close to a year. And it's being used every week for shave videos. And I've never done any maintenance on it at all. And I'm starting to get kind of um, lackluster with its lather performance. You could feel it, it just kind of felt heavy. Now the hair feels soft and feels light, but we're not done. Just like the hair on your head, uh, badger hair or boar hair or horse hair, whatever, also needs a little bit of some conditioning. So that's just gonna kind of keep it moist, keep the hair from getting dried out. If you see an old badger brush, the hair is super dry. It's like brittle. Well, that same thing's gonna happen to your brush if you don't take care of it. Now you're using it all the time, of course, but you wanna make sure we give it a little TLC. So I put some conditioner in here and just kind of working it through with my fingers. I don't need to add any more water. It's got plenty of water from the shampoo. Uh, for the rinse after that, but gosh, it is amazing how much softer this feels. If you guys have, um, you know, used conditioner in, in your hair, you know, after you're done with the shampoo, it feels pretty good. Then you put that conditioner in, it's just soft and silky. Well, that's exactly how this feels. Um, so I'm kind of rinsed it all out now, all the product is out. And the last thing you can do for our care is do a little combing. Now, that's a nice thing that the Phoenix Artisan product comes with is one of these um, unbreakable barber shop style combs and you'd want to use the coarse side not the fine side and you don't really want to dig this in I would just suggest kind of gently going over it and just kind of straightening out any kinks this is especially good if you do have kind of a, a tangle or a little knot in the hair uh, this can really help to dig those out but this is kind of a last final step go through it and make sure your brush is in good shape. 
You may get a couple hairs that come out in this process. That's why I'm not digging way down in and trying to pull them out because again, this, the, the only thing holding a, a, a knot together is a little bit of glue. Um, they use usually an epoxy. They tie it with a rope or a little string and then they put it in epoxy. Well, that's really great on the, you know, brush bristles around the perimeter, but the ones in the middle are being held in, you know, with less epoxy and less force. So you don't want to really pull it out. It, it can. It can pull a lot of hair if you abuse this. But that's about all you need. Uh, I got a couple of hairs out in the process, but overall my brush is in a lot better shape now than it was a few minutes ago. It's probably good for another year of service. And I, I think that's really all the care you need to do. I'd say maybe once or twice a year, you know, take care of your brushes with a little bit of product like this and uh, it'll take care of you. I have an old Badger brush from the 1940s that I'm still using and why? Because I take care of it and I haven't, um, you know, I cleaned it occasionally and I don't, you know, let it dry uh, on its base. You know, the best way to let these guys dry is really to hang them up. Uh, but that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of maintenance for your shave den. Thank you so much for watching. If you subscribe and you leave a comment, you're entered in to win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Behold, in all of its glory. We are so happy you've stopped by today to check out the video, and we will uh, see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.